Good morning, everyone. So I am dressed for work. I just need to do my hair and makeup. Um, here's the tree in the morning. So it survived. The cats didn't destroy it. Um, I guess I'm going to do this as more of the intro, but <laughs> this is now Thursday morning before work. Um, I filmed the video last night of me putting the tree together, um, partially, like starting the ornaments and whatnot, um, and drinking wine and just talking. Um, and so thank you guys for being here. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Okay. Bye. Hey guys, it's Z. Um, well, let's start by, I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do for a video for tomorrow. Um, I guess I can decorate the tree, um, tonight and that can be my thing with maybe some wine. Uh, but otherwise, uh, I was gonna meet up again with my ex that we're trying to work things out tonight. Um, but apparently he got a job magically overnight. Um, and so he is blowing me off slash preparing for his first day of work tomorrow. And so we are not in fact hanging out tonight. Um, and so I'm just heading down to the car right now to pick up, um, I picked up some um, additional like tree decorations. Um, I ran to the dollar store. We have a, a kitten off the streets um, in the clinic right now and he might have a little bit of ringworm on his ear and so I just went and picked up um, Clotrimazole from the, the dollar store. This isn't working apparently. Um, and so with that, um, I am, oh, and so with that I picked up some uh, mermaid-ish themed, like my hair themed uh, uh, Christmas tree ornaments that just to mix it up a little bit with the other variety packs that I got. Um, and so hopefully, I mean, I thought it, again, it would be fun to, to do these activities with um, him but he has ditched me for both putting up the tree and stuff as well as now <laughs> decorating the tree. So I'll just do it by myself. That's fine. Your girl likes herself enough to spend time with herself. It's just that nothing's getting resolved and that's kind of frustrating to me, but you live, you learn, you crash, you burn. I don't know. Oh. So I got this bag. And a bottle of wine. Trunk. This just makes me laugh every time I do it because I feel like a little alcoholic. Like, look at all of this wine. Like, what am I doing with my life? Alright, so let's do another winking owl since it's been a week and like half of these are winking owl. I feel like there was just an earthquake. I don't know. Like, does anybody else get those feelings where like, you're like, wow, my feet just moved maybe but I don't know um lighting goes from really bright to really dark and I am sorry um, but we'll go ahead and try this one let's see what this is this is a winking owl cabernet sauvignon so we'll see winking owl california Ooh, exciting we'll we'll get that tasty tested and see if it's if it's worth it for everyone um Otherwise, at work today was like a super slow day, like super, super, super slow. I saw like three whole patients um, and then like an emergency might have eaten ibuprofen, might have eaten chocolate thing. Um, and so that was fun. Um, it was mostly really boring. I wanted to murder myself the entire time. Um, and so it's been like, I don't know, like an exhausting day in the fact that I've like had to sit with my own thoughts all day. Um, those are the worst kinds of days for me because most of the time um, I throw myself into my work so that I don't have to worry about my actual problems. Um, and, and that didn't get to happen. So I just sat and worried about my problems all day. Uh, and like I get anxious, so I get nauseous and I don't want to eat and like that's been my life. So we're going to drink wine and sit because that's healthy. Um, yeah, let's get the tree decorated. That sounds good. Huh, team? I don't know. Like, I'm really half tempted to make a video just like, explaining all of the relationship drama, but at the same time, like, I don't know. I respect his privacy to a degree, but I don't know. It isn't one of those where it's like, 
meant to be a secret. If he didn't like the way he would be portrayed by me telling the story, then maybe the story shouldn't have played out that way. I don't know. I'm one of those where like, who you are all the time is who you are. And so people who like don't like their their personal lives being broadcast, like I don't necessarily understand that because like you are who you are regardless of whether it's public nature or public knowledge or not. Um, and it wasn't, I don't know, it's like not that bad of a story where like he gets defamed or anything. I don't know. Again, I don't know. I just never know. All I know is I got pretty screwed out of the deal. And for some reason, I'm still fighting for it. Because I have emotions and I'm a dumb girl. That's me. Pretty much. I'm like very self-aware of the... The unrealistic self-harm that I am putting upon myself. And I am still an idiot and still okay with it. So... This is not working out very well. I don't know. I'm gonna get this bottle of wine opened. I'm gonna get um, the tree and the outdoor lights on so that it looks nice, and then we can we can get to decorating this tree. Okay, sound good? Thanks for being here, team. All right, bye. Okay, team. So I got it open, and I didn't screw up the cork this time. Just in case anybody was wondering, it doesn't trust me. Um, in case it matters, I'm letting you know. I did not screw up the cork. Um, and so I'm gonna guess that this is probably gonna be like a dry red wine. Um, we'll find out here in a hot second. Um, sorry, I like it better when it's focused like that on the tree. Tell me what you think. Ugh. Um, okay, so it's not super dry. Um, it's definitely a red wine. It tastes kind of like corky woody. Um, like, it's not super fruity or anything, and I tend to like the sweet, the fruity. Um, lots of tannins here. I can taste them. Um, yeah, like, not, not a wine I would go out and buy personally, but, um, I'm sure it would be good with, like, maybe a steak or something, if that's what people do. Speaking of, I have chicken in the fridge that I need to cook. Alright, note to self, do that. Hopefully after this. It is currently 7.06, so I get off work at 6. Um, I just got home, started filming, because I'm stressed out, obviously. Um, and I'm trying to like convince myself that I didn't need to hang out with stupid boy, so. Here I am, not hanging out with him. Yay, I'm with you guys. Real friendship. Um, not like that, not to be facetious. Like, you guys are truly making my life uh, worth living right now. Here's some wine, and here are some Christmas decorations. And so these are the ones that I got from the dollar store. So there's this little green, and then there's this one that's like truly blue, and then there's this one that's the deep blue with the purple. Like how gorgeous is that? That's gonna be a mermaid tree if I've ever seen a mermaid tree. And then they had these ones, and this was just like the Mac Daddy of like iridescent beauty. And so, let me grab a pair of scissors really quick so I can cut those and then I'll just start hanging them. Huh? Does that sound fair, team? I think that sounds pretty good to me.
Okay, so here we go decorating the actual tree here. I mean, I guess I can kind of like talk to you guys as I do this. Um, but I don't know. So like this job that the X is going for um, is apparently like paying him $19 an hour for a task that he doesn't know yet. Like he, I asked him what the job was and he said he'll let me know when he knows more. And apparently it's $19 an hour, whatever that something is. Am I the only one that thinks that that's like kind of super etch-a-sketch? Or is that, like, and, and trust you me, like I don't want to wish ill upon this because obviously wishing ill upon it would be wishing ill upon my relationship in the future. Um, if this all works out. And so with that, like, I, I want it to go well and I want it to be a good job and I want him to be able to be happy and find something where he's comfortable and where he doesn't question his value and like all of those good and great things. Like I, I 120% want that. I want to be a cheerleader. But like, does that not sound sketchy? Like, is that just me? Am I that person right now? Just starting with these big guys because and I like you know, like naturally I'm butt hurt from being ditched again, but it's like its own separate thing, I feel. I feel like I'm emotionally mature enough as a human to like not have that as my reason why I, I think that this is weird, but I just, I don't know. Like I'm usually really good at my gut impressions on things, and so far my gut impression on this is that it's, it's something weird, and I hope it's not. I hope it is something good for him, and I hope that he gets to have like a nice paying job and all of that. But at the same time, I mean, like, let's be real, my income could take care of us both very well. Um, thankfully, going to school for eight years is kind of paid off nicely in the grand scheme of things. Um, where I can live comfortably, but still uh, responsibly, thoughtfully, thinking about student loans and stuff. Like, I can, I can enjoy myself, but at the same time, like, obviously a big chunk of my income at this point is going to be going towards paying back the government. cute so far and so I was like looking at things on um, Pinterest today at work because work was dead uh, and I saw like little uh, star starfish tree toppers and then they also had uh, just like other seashell ornaments and I can't wait to make some seashell ornaments um, and I was thinking either like a um, a starfish tree topper like I saw, or how cute would it be to have like a little mermaid angel? Like, would that not be the cutest? Would that not be everything? I think it would be everything, personally. Um, and so I'm kind of leaning, leaning that way myself, but it's obviously all in what I have time for um, and what I can mentally prepare myself to do. I'm just kind of grabbing like a handful of these at a time and kind of just going, going to town and making things work where I want them to. Not at all it's an exact science, mostly a work of art.
no, they're gone. Well, thank goodness these are plasticky plastic Walmart unbreakable ones because otherwise we'd be in a world of hurt if we put this together. direct these conversations in later videos. I just don't know um, what is worth telling you guys versus what is, I don't know, like maybe oversharing. What are you just like absolutely not interested in? What do you want to know about me and being a newly graduated veterinarian and living in Long Beach and Being a mixed animal vet, do you guys have animal specific questions that I can answer within reason? I obviously can't treat or diagnose over YouTube, but I can definitely answer like general questions about animals. That's not a problem. I know I know a lot of stuff up in this and I'm not. Um, lots of personal experience with animals as far as growing up on a farm and whatnot. Chickens reptiles, to horses, to goats, to geese, to dogs, to cats, to everything in between. Like I really do have like a working knowledge of all species and I'm more than happy to talk to you guys about them. I just also don't want my entire life to be about being a vet, you know, because I feel like that in its own way is unhealthy. Like I would rather have this as like a separate entity then make this all about me being a vet, if that makes sense. And I'm like, with my back towards you, I feel like that's rude and I'm sorry. I'm not trying. yesterday's video how your guys' Christmas decorations were going. Um, do you guys have anything planned for this coming week for festive stuff? Are you excited? Do you not even celebrate Christmas? Like, how's Hanukkah going for those of you who, who celebrate Hanukkah? Uh, and then tell me more about just like other stuff that you guys are doing. Um, it doesn't have to be like related to the holidays, like I'm more than happy to know, like, are you pursuing something new? Are you, just how are you living your best life, essentially? That's, that's what I, what I want to know. It's just how, how's everything going, guys? I miss having friends to just like, you know, shoot the shit with and hang out with. It's, it's been different coming out here and not having any of that familiarity One of the patients I had in today was like literally the cutest kitty ever. Um, the owner originally found him, her, he thought it was a him and it is a her, uh, in the trash uh, about a month ago now. Um, and so rescued obviously from, from the trash. Uh, 
and has been doing very well. Super cute, happy kitty, um, very sassy. Um, just gaining weight back, you know, doing typical kitty things. And so those are always my favorites, I want to say, is the, the young babies and getting to see them grow um, as far as veterinary patients go. Um, it's obviously rewarding to see older dogs, too. Um, fuck, I don't know who they are against those. Um, yeah, obviously very rewarding to see older dogs, too, but um, there's just, like, nothing quite like seeing people start to make bonds with animals and uh, just talking them through, like, that's normal, this is what we need to watch out for, this is what we have to look forward to in the future, and then just, just getting to see people grow, essentially. That's obviously... Why I became a vet was because of the, the human-animal bond, and I want to do more work into the human-animal bonds and that kind of stuff. Um, so I want to do, they have like training and stuff you can do, and I really am interested in pursuing that. It's just money right now. Um, and so in time, and with, with an income, a steady income where I'm saving money, that will become more available to me. And I'm missing uh, equine practitioner forum right now, which kind of hurts my heart as a horse person, but at the same time, like I'm working and I'm not working in equine medicine, and so I guess it's like less applicable to me right at this moment. And it's not like I wasn't like super far ahead in equine medicine anyways, like it was one of my top things. So I think I can take a little bit of time off and still not forget how to treat lameness and sand colic. I think I have that under control. I, be I believe in myself to, to that extent at least, where I'm not going to be worried anytime soon about my abilities to treat horses. Horses are one of those where I've been there, done that, seen enough equine stuff that I just, I, I, I get them. And so, that's part of why it's such a bummer that I didn't, I wasn't able to just get like a mixed animal dream job right off the bat, I guess. Um, I did get offered an equine internship. Unfortunately, uh, internships are essentially indentured slave labor where you don't get paid well, you work long hours, um, and there's no promise of anything out the other side. Like, yes, you may be able to be lucky enough to get a residency and uh, go from there as far as being able to become a board certified surgeon and everything, um, because that would be my ultimate dream is to be a board certified surgeon, um, be it large animal or small animal, uh, mixed truly again, it's my passion. And so if I could be a board certified surgeon in mixed animal, all species, that would be pretty much the, the most ultimate thing or goal to obtain. Um, but how realistic is that? I don't know at this point. I'm still trying to figure out my first, my first year. Oh, and something positive about my career, though, um, I did increase my, um, how do I explain this? Uh, so we go on production at my work, so um, my salary is like pro-sal, so production plus the salary. Um, and so I upped my production as a doctor by um, $10,000 this, this quarter. And so that was awesome um, compared to before. It's one of those where obviously like I'm a new doctor and so I'm learning what I can get away with and what I um, can't get away with as far as like things to offer to people and how to explain it and all of that. And so I think I've been getting better. I've also been like full booked the last couple of weeks. And so days like today where I do literally nothing are like few and far in between and then they really like more than anything scare me and concern me. Uh, let me here get this tree. Because I have all of the things on the tree now. And so, that's, look at how pretty it is. And so we still have to get a tree topper. 
Um, and I think I'm going to do a video of me making um, seashell ornaments. But otherwise, like, it's a good start to a mermaid tree, no team? Um, I get so distracted when I'm talking and I'm so, so sorry. This is probably really hard to follow. But um, I increase my production, which basically just means that I, I am a, a more productive doctor. Brings it back to the money side of medicine, which I don't necessarily agree with or believe in um, but it just kind of shows a promising future there um, let me see if I can get you guys closer to the tree or just do just an overall like look at this it's beautiful yeah that's so nice I'm excited to have it here um, yeah, what do you guys want to know for the future? I'm more than happy to, like, talk or answer literally anything. It's not a big deal to me. Um, within reason. Like, I obviously can't, like, disclose certain things, but... I'm more than happy to chat. And I, like, I don't know. I think I touched on this briefly before, that I have, like, planned story times where... I have a journal of just like all the things I've always wanted to just like vent and talk to people about and I plan on putting on YouTube eventually, I just need to record videos of them. But like when I first moved out here to California, um, I moved out here with a job, uh, contract signed, job in hand kind of thing. And I moved out here and put um, all of my savings into moving, into getting this condo, into um, getting licensed, that kind of stuff, um, and then turned around and the person who had hired me uh, basically said, uh, we found somebody who would start sooner, good luck, uh, sorry for the inconvenience for his literal words. Um, and so with that, uh, obviously like first job out, you live, you learn, um, people aren't always in it for you, they're in it for themselves. Um, and so that was kind of like, you know, stressful and stuff. Um, having moved out here, I donated plasma and did um, Postmates for the first month I was out here while I was still trying to I found another job by the end of the week So I mean like if that doesn't show um, That jobs are, are very much available and that you just you can do anything you put your mind to I don't know what does I don't know why this video turned into this all of a sudden um, Probably the wine is where I'm gonna go with that um, but tree tree is beautiful tree is done We did it Thank you guys for being here. Sorry this video is obviously going to be short and sad and short. And this is the best angle to see my double chin. So like 10 out of 10 for me. Um, <laughs> Georgia, my kitty. Let's see if I can get her focused on. She's just like sitting there staring at the tree. Do you see her? She's literally just like, oh look a tree. Uh, she's loving it. Um, and so thank you guys so much for being here. Um, I'll see if I maybe want to do a voiceover over the part where I'm like putting the ornaments together and whatnot. We'll see how motivated I am tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is my surgery day and so I have a spay and then like a dental with a little eye mask removal. Not a big deal. Um, and so with that, uh, hopefully I'll be able to film again when I get home <laughs> is the, the overall um, question there. But anyways, thank you guys so much for being here. Um, if you'd like to be subscribed to this channel, hit the notification bell so that you get um, notifications when I do upload videos so that you can stay on top of my life because uh, it's obviously the most important part of your life is my life. Um, and so with that, um, you guys can add me on Facebook, facebook.com slash christina.christensen. Um, Christina being spelled with a C-R, C-R-I-S-T-I-N-A. Um, and then uh, add me on Snapchat, darkangel65468, and then on Instagram at darkangel65368. I obviously would like to change all of my handles to something like mermaid vet or something. Um, there is a mermaid vet, I think, out of Maine or whatever, um, when I was trying to look on Instagram about changing my name. Um, but, like, what do you guys think? What should, what should I be called? Uh, how should I be other than just C? Because I think, or I guess C would be this for you. Because I think C would be pretty cool, because it's like ocean, and then it's like my first name and my last name. Uh, and then like I get called Dr. C. We already had this talk, huh? Well, thank you for being here. I'm obviously Christina. I don't introduce myself every video and I probably should um, because like Who knows who I am? Uh, if you like randomly come here from like a vlogmas tag or whatever um, But yeah, I'm Christina 26 year old veterinarian. I guess I can do a video of like draw my life or whatever. I'm actually uh, Artistically inclined so I could do that if I really wanted to um, 
it's just motivating myself, which is my, I'm not good at it. Um, so I have this video done. Yay. Good for me. Um, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Um, and I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you're enjoying the holidays and I hope, uh, you're staying safe in whatever weather that you are in. Thankfully it was a little bit rainy today, but otherwise the weather has been pretty decent, um, in California, albeit a little cold. I'm a Arizona baby. So I'm like a little reptile where I like, I like the warm, um, Bye, guys. <laughs>